Good morning, Jay Sarah. I'm Mary Flanagan. And I'm Nick Greger, and this is The Lion Report. Hey, Mary, were you late to school? No, I was smart enough to avoid the traffic due to the Ortega closure. Well, in a few weeks, traffic flow should go back to normal once it reopens. This project will provide relief of local traffic, relieve traffic from coming from the I-5, and improve traffic safety and operations around the I-5 Ortega intersection. Well, I believe all those benefits are worth the current backup. All construction should be completed by the end of the year. Make sure you plan accordingly and are on time to school. <clears throat> in, more, in some more announcements, the Business Magnet program is hosting their first fundraiser tomorrow at Ruby's in San Juan Capistrano. Show up anytime from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. With, <clears throat> with a flyer and Ruby's will donate 20% of your bill to the Business Magnet Scholarship Fund. Now let's pass it over to Trevor Hills and Toby Ranzillo for some more important dates and information about our fine arts program. Good morning, Jay Sarah. I'm Shelby Ranzillo. And I'm Trevor Hills. And we have some very important announcements. Regarding the fine arts department. Hey Trevor, are you in NHS? Yeah, I think I might have slipped in there. Well, if you were a junior or senior in NHS and still need those cultural event service hours, then come out and support our theater department and our dance department in the next couple of weeks. So Trevor, can you remind us of the times of the plays for Much Ado About Nothing? As part of the theater department, I'd be glad to. The first premiere starts today after school at 3.45 p.m. in the black box. So get your tickets soon if you haven't already. They are $10 for general admission and $8 for students and seniors. They can be purchased at the door or reserved through email at elise.ubarra.jsara.org. The additional show times are tomorrow night at 7 p.m., Saturday, November 8th at 2 and 7 p.m., Thursday 13th, Friday the 14th, and Saturday the 15th, all at 7 p.m. So Shelby, would you give us an update on the info for the dance concert? Well, as part of the dance department, I would be glad to. We'll be having our semi-annual dance concert on November 21st at 7.30 p.m. at the Laguna Hills Community Center. Tickets will be online soon for $5, and the theme is holidays. And there may be a song from Frozen included, but don't worry, I won't let it go. <laughs> so what better way to start off your Thanksgiving break than go to a holiday concert to get into the mood for the holidays. On a side note, anyone in NHS, any student athletes that want to tutor the athletes in need, please come by and sign your name on the sign-up sheet by Mrs. D's door. The times are Tuesday afternoon from 2.45 to 3.30, Wednesday from 3 to 3.45, Thursday morning from 7 to 7.45, and Thursday afternoon 2.35 to 3.20. So don't forget, Jay Sarah, if you need a cultural event for NHS, if you love dance or theater, or just want to show your support, please come out and support our fine arts department. And if you're at NHS and attending the cultural events, don't forget to take a selfie of you at the event and have a copy of the receipt or ticket. And don't forget, the first play for Much Ado About Nothing starts today after school at 345 in the Black Box. Well, that about wraps it up today. I'm Trevor Hills. And I'm Shelly Renzulo. Back to you, you guys, guys at the, the Lion Report. report. Thanks, Thanks Shelby, Shelby and, and Trevor. Trevor. To all juniors and seniors, St. Edward's University from Austin, Texas will be here on the campus at 10 a.m. in the library. Make sure to be there if you've signed up. Here with us live in the studio is Kat Hendricks with Sean Barnes and more about the choir. Thanks, Mary. As you said, I'm Kat Hendrick, and I'm here with Sean Barnes, who has been a member of our school's chamber choir for four years. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Kat. So you have been in this program for four years, so you've made a lot of memories with this family that you guys have created. Can you tell us a little bit about your favorite part about choir? Um, yeah, I'd just say like making all like so many good friends. You know, these are friends that'll stick with you till after high school, and it's just what we do is so amazing. You guys sound great. So I've seen you guys go everywhere. You guys have been to New York and Spain and across the country and Rome. So it's got to be a big time commitment. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so basically um, from 5 to 7 every Monday, right here at J. Sarah, we'll practice our, our repertoire, basically, um, and we'll practice for the next concert. Well, it seems to be paying off. So where is your favorite place that you have traveled with our school's choir? I'd have to say Spain. The sights there are just breathtaking, and the churches that we sang in there were just so nice. Oh, that sounds fun. So do you hope to continue singing professionally, possibly in college? Um, I'm thinking of doing a majoring in a vocal performance, but um, I'm not sure yet. But um, I, if they have a choir there, I'll definitely jam join them. We can't see, can't wait to see where you go. So I hear that last night you guys had a pretty big festival at Concordia University. Can you tell me a little about that? Yeah, so basically um, at 2 p.m. Concordia University, we sang with a uh, choirs such as Modern Day and Santa Margarita, showing off our repertoire, basically. It was good stuff. 
Thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. As for the rest of you Lions, make sure that you guys support our program. They work really hard. They deserve for us to support them. Back to Nick in the studio. That interview was just music to my ears. <laughs> Completely crossing the ocean towards announcements here. J. Sarah Sailing Club invites you to come to Dana Point Harbor this Saturday. Anyone interested in learning to sail is encouraged to come out on the water the first day. No experience is necessary. For more information, see the flyers in the hallways or send an email to jsarasailingclub at gmail.com. Hope to see you all there at 10 a.m. Saturday. Remember that tomorrow is the last game of the season before playoffs. Because it's senior night, the theme of the game is superheroes, so make sure you're all there in your superhero gear at Saddleback at 7.30. Let's go see what the team has been up to. game this Friday is going to be super. super. More announcements. The Little Green Dress Foundation is looking for donations for special occasion type dresses, jewelry, handbags, toppers for women and children. The clothing will be sold in consignment shops or boutiques at an affordable price in order to raise funds for sponsored youth trips to Lord's France. All donations go to Miss Marchica's desk in the front office. Hey Nick, did you know that tonight is opening night for Much Ado About Nothing? I sure did, but that really doesn't have much ado about the Green Dress Foundation. <laughs> Oh, I'm just shaking a spear. Make sure you stop by and see one of the performances. Remember that to be or not to be there, that is the question. Don't forget, Jay Sarah, girls water polo is now a no-cut sport. No prior experience is required. To make new friends, get involved, and get in shape, come see Coach Julie on the pool deck today. Well, that seems to be it for us here, Jay Sarah. From all of us here at the studio, I'm Nick Greger. And I'm Mary Flanagan. <clears throat> and a special, uh, <laughs> thanks for turning into the Thanks for tuning in, Jay Sarah, and a special shout out to Ms. Forrester for making the sign report possible. <laughs> <laughs>